Hi, in this video we're going to walk you through AtnaTrader's mobile app for iOS. This app serves as an extension of the web terminal and it essentially allows you to perform the same trading operations like trading stocks, trading options, creating watch lists, creating price alerts and so forth. Ok, now let's take a look at the app and see how it actually works. AtnaTrader for iOS is available from the App Store, so you can search for it, download it and then you can start using it. Let's tap open. If you don't already have an active account in AtnaTrader, you can tap sign up, fill out this form, tap done and your account will be created. Alternatively, if you already have an account, you can just simply enter your username and password and then tap login. You can open up any watch list by tapping on this button in the top left corner. Let's switch to a different watch list. And as you can see right now, we have a grid of stocks from this watch list. Each security is displayed along with a small preview graph. And finally, we have the quote of the security. It can either be the real time quote if the market is open, or if the market is closed, you'll see the closing price from the previous trading session. Obviously, you can modify the watch list by tapping on this button in the top right corner. So we can remove some stocks from here. We can also sort the securities by their ticker symbol, by the last price, and by the change in price. If we would like to add some security to this watch list, we can simply tap on the enter symbol text field, enter the ticker symbol of the required security, and as you can see on the right of each security, there is a plus button. So let's tap here. And this security has been successfully added to our watch list. Okay, now let's go to the positions tab. Obviously, this tab displays all of the positions from your trading account. So we can scroll through all of the positions. We can also scroll horizontally to reveal different parameters of the positions, like the market value, the realized profit and loss, the cost basis, the last price etc. At the top we have different columns and if we tap on the name of each column we can sort the positions by this column. For example we can sort the positions by the open profit and loss or for example by the day profit and loss. We can tap on any positions to get a more detailed view at the position and our current profit and loss, the number of securities in the position, the execution price, the market value, the opening date for the position and so forth. And if we tap on the little square button in the top right corner, we'll get this tile view of our positions, which gives us a better visual demonstration of our most profitable and least profitable positions. Okay, now let's go to the orders tab. And this tab displays all of the orders in our account. So we can take a look at all orders, or we can select only the active orders. We can also filter only field orders or canceled orders. And if we would like to place a new order, we can tap on the quick trade text field, type in some ticker symbol, select the company, and immediately we will be redirected to the trade view, where we can specify different parameters of the order. We can select the side of the order, we have buy, sell, sell short, buy to cover. We can specify the number of securities to be traded, for example, let's buy 40 shares. Next we have the order type, we can buy the shares at the market price or at the limit price. Next we have the target trading session, down below we can select the required execution venue, we can change it from NASDAQ to some other exchange, for example NICE. And the final option is all or none, if we tap it, this order will either be executed completely or not at all. And before we place the order we can specify the comments. Let's tap verify order, let's review the information, the account is right, so let's tap place order. Currently the market is closed, that's why our order was suspended, but once the market opens, it'll be sent to the execution venue and eventually it'll be filled. Obviously all of these orders are synced with the web terminal, if you place an order in the mobile app, it'll be displayed in the web terminal and vice versa. And of course, in addition to stock trading, AtnaTrader for iOS also features powerful options trading functionality. If we go back to the quotes tab and select Apple, let's tap options, and here we have a table listing the current option chain for this security. We can change the expiration date, 
For example, let's say we want to buy a call option. We can trade one option or we can select multiple options. Let's tap trade options. And immediately we will be prompted with the option trading view. Here we can switch the option type from call to put. We can change the order site. We can specify the number of contracts, the order type, the target trading session, the target execution venue, all or none. And just like that, we can trade options, stocks, and any other security type. And also we can take a look at the chart, see the trading volumes. If we rotate the device, we can take a look at the chart in full screen. We can change the chart period, the interval. We can change the chart type. And essentially, this is how you trade options and stocks in Admin Trader for iOS. Finally, let's talk about the price alerts. We can filter them by status, so we can take a look at the active price alerts. Currently, we have none. We have the triggered price alerts or other price alerts. Let's create a new price alert. Let's type in the Snapchat stock. And let's create a price alert for the ask price. If it's lower than, let's say, $10, we would like to be notified. An expiration date will be December 31st. Let's tap Create. And obviously, if the price of the Snapchat stock reaches $10 or goes lower, we will be immediately notified. And the last tab of the app is called Account. And this tab essentially shows you the current information about the account. We can switch between different accounts. In the top left corner, we can tap at this little gear icon, and this will bring up the settings view. Here we can configure all sorts of settings, ranging from order types, default execution venues, default quantities, option strike range, notification settings, we can enable authentication via Face ID or Touch ID for extra security. In this case, when we open up the app, iOS will authenticate us via our faces or via the fingerprint. We can change different themes. We have the blue theme, olive. We can go with something brighter like the white theme, or we can just stay with our classic black theme. We would also like to mention the fact that in addition to our iPhone app, we also have an Apple Watch extension. If you have both an iPhone and an Apple Watch, when you install Edna Shredder, this extension will automatically be installed to your Apple Watch. And when you open it, you have three buttons, Account, Orders and Positions. If we tap on Account, we can quickly take a look at our account balances, our daily profit and loss, etc. If we tap on Orders, we can take a look at visual representation of our orders. We have active orders, cancelled orders, as well as filled orders. And if we scroll down, we can take a look at the orders details, like the ticker symbol, the average opening price, and the type of the order. And the same goes for positions. When we open the position screen, we can take a look at the ratio of short positions to long positions. And if we scroll down, we can take a look at the positions details, like the number of securities, the average opening price, the ticker symbol, and so forth. Alright, so that is it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions about Ethnotrader for iOS, feel free to contact us at sales at ethnosoft.com and we will be glad to answer all of your questions. Thank you for watching and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.